You're deeply connected. In fact, you're in love with animals, probably more than people. You are already communicating and you don't know it or you don't trust it. You think it's some sort of a hit and miss thing. If there was an injured seagull, you could get the hook out of its foot. If everybody was chasing that dog that was darting down the freeway, you're the one that the dog would finally turn and come to. And all this time you haven't known what to necessarily call it. It's this deep connection and a calling that you aren't able to define at this point. As an animal communicator, and even as an energy healer, we are always doing telepathy, which is the transference of pictures, words, and feelings. What we often think is that telepathy is like some action verb, like I'm sending and then I'm receiving, and like these are separate things. In the old days, there was this commercial for something called RKO. There was this radio tower and it had lightning bolts and you could see all this activity around it, right? That's what we are. We are always broadcasting, which means we're always sending and receiving at the same time. It's not something we're doing. It's not an action verb. It's actually what we're being. What happens in our household, whether we've had a bad day, a good day, any kind of day, that we're just having a day, we are broadcasting. So we are somewhat picking up on our animal stuff, but they are certainly picking up on our stuff. And so what we want to become is aware of what we're sending. You will change your household by being a great sender.